Hi everyone, welcome back to the Wick Collective. My name is Hector and I hope you guys are doing well today. Um, I know I haven't posted in a minute. Um, this heat has been kicking my ass. Um, not only do I not enjoy the heat, um, I don't do well in the heat. I try to pretty much stay in the dark whenever I can, when I'm at work, stay in, in the AC. Um, and with all the lights that I have to kind of set up, it gets really, really challenging for it to not get really hot in here. So, yeah, I apologize for that. But I'm back, so I'm glad to be back. Um, so, I know Halloween, the collections have dropped. And I did shop on the members exclusive, which was kind of dumb. Because I think when that happened, which was like, I think either like a Friday or something the next day. Or like two days after that or three days after that like on monday um they went like wide in the store i feel like i could have just done that but whatever it is what it is um so i have an unboxing with you guys this is one of like uh one two three four five six boxes bath and body Works is not playing this time around when it comes to their packaging because y'all know that they fuck, they suck. <laughs> they really do suck when it comes to packaging. Um, so that's what I want to share with you guys today. So I hope you guys are doing well, and I hope you guys are excited for this Halloween um, collection uh, or the Halloween collection, really the drop and all the goodies that have come out so far. So without further ado, let's get started with the unboxing. So none of these have been open, and these are going to be my genuine first-time reactions. Uh, I avoid I avoided going to the store for the same reason because um, I didn't want to ruin the surprise um, Yeah, so let's see. Okay. Look y'all Bath and Body Works has done pretty good. Look at that. They used to just throw things in a in a box literally thoughts and prayers a little bubble wrap here and there a prayer and here you go but they seem to be getting it together All right, so we got our first candle here um so i'm excited halloween is usually like my favorite time of the year or better yet um holiday but i love the fall fall all the way i prefer that over christmas i know but i prefer that um all right so the first one here is vampire blood oh this is so cute so it looks like that super cute little spiders um it does have a little plastic thingy um wow this kind of smells really good <laughs> all right all right all right all right oh this kind of reminds me of like the this spooky setter lane that came out like two years ago but oh this is so cute so it looks like that super cute hit that super cute little spider webs vibes going on um, red berries, night blooming jasmine, and petrifying plum. This is a classic. A classic vampire blood um, from Bath and Body Works. So, picked up one of these. And then I also picked up. Ooh, let's see. Their packaging has definitely gotten better because I remember last year or the year before that when they had a tree. When they had that like spooky tree. Um, Mine came broken, and so I ended up getting another one. And that one also came broken, but it was just like a little branch, so I just crazy glued it back on. Um, so this next one is Spooky Moon Teeny, and it looks like that. Super cute, super cute lid too. Uh, so this is a brand new scent from Bath & Body Works. Mystical Berry Potion, Spooktacular Sponge Sugar, and Spellbinding Citrus. Mmm. This smells really similar to the Enchanted Candy Potion candle that came out, I want to say like a year, no, two years ago. This is very much in the realm of like um, Pink Fairy Gumdrop, um, Enchanted Candy Potion. That's what this smells like. I think that one even had like the sponge sugar. I don't know, but it's a very, nothing too crazy. It doesn't give me like a moon teeny vibe where it's like a drink or anything. But this is nice. Um, the wax is really pretty too. 
So there's that. So we got the Spooky Moon Teeny. Got that. And then we've got, ooh, okay. This is another one I was excited for. Oof, I hate that sound. Oh, this is beautiful. All right. Oh, that's so cool. All right. So this is the Candy Apple Cauldron, and it looks like that. Super adorable. Super cute. Their packaging is actually really cute for this year. Oh, that looks a little crazy. I don't know what that is, but it looks a little crazy. But anyways. Um, mysterious Green Apple, Shimmering Sugar, and Crystallized Bergamot. Mmm. Um. The apple I get in here, it's almost like... This is very similar to Radiant Red Maple. But there is this, like, almost like a sour, like, Jolly Rancher, like, green apple kind of vibe. But the sweetness that I get in here, like, the very, very... As soon as, like, I smell it, it reminds me of that. And I wouldn't say that this is a dupe or a repackage, no, but... It's very similar, but this is nice. Um, yeah, mysterious, <laughs> mysterious green apple, shimmering sugar, and crystallized bergamot. Mmm, I want to see what the um, the body care smells like because I think body care came out on this too. So, look at that, super cute, super adorable. Love that. I don't know if the camera picks it up. It's like the face pops up. I don't know, but it's super cute. Love that. All right. So putting them off to the side. Oh, I don't know what this is. All right, so done with one box. Let's go ahead and open this one. This one feels light. I don't know what this could be. I don't remember what I ordered too, so this will all be kind of fun. Oh wow, what is this? Oh, okay, I did order this. Um, I do remember now ordering this, so I mean, Bath and Body Works is getting their shit together. Oh god, this is so cute. Let's open it up. Oh, this is so cute! Oh my god. That is so freaking cute. Look at that. Look at that. So cute. And it does have like a, it changes color. Well, that's what it says here. I don't know if you're able to see it. But it says it changes color. And it has like a little thing here. So that's where you'll see the color coming from. But this is so cute. I do love like the witchy aesthetic. I've recently been kind of um, getting into kind of that more whole thing. <laughs> What the heck? <laughs> that was a whole ass spider. Jesus. Oh my god. Oh shit. Oh my god. Well, I got it, so... There's that. <laughs> Whoops. Anyways, um... What was I saying? Um, yeah, I was getting more into, like, the witchy aesthetic, um, but I found out what it's called, because I was kind of, like, in between, like, boho and, like, goth, but I didn't feel like I fit in either category, because I know goth is very black and white, uh, boho is, like, very, like, in your face, so I found, like, a mix of that, so I've been kind of playing around with that, so I feel like this would be perfect super cute so I picked that up let's put this off to the side all right up next we have box number two all right let's see boxes. Love that. 
All right. Off to the side. All right, let's see. Okay, let me not read anything so I can just cut it open and see what it is. Because I do love a little good surprise. All right, so we have... Oh, shoot. Oh, that's right. Oh, this is so cute. Y'all, this goddamn hand. Look at this. Isn't this so cute? Look at that. I know some people were not a big fan of it because I think it was too small. But that is so cute. I don't know. I mean, it is a, like, um, it has, like, the little ring, the painted nails, the cute little purple gemstones. Super cute. I know some people, like I said, weren't fans of it. But I do, I do love it. So, the hand. Um, I know the hand also came out, like, a, for a, a soap holder and a candle holder as well. But I think that those are super cute as well so so these were um yeah because it's a it's a fine fra fra fine fragrance uh mist holder but you know you can use that for decor for other things oh and i did purchase two so i guess that's where they are coming from so the same so these two are the same so i purchased two so that's that off to the side and then up next, oh, I have box number three. And like I said, Halloween is my favorite holiday. Um, I don't know, something about the vibes, you know? I've been thinking of, like, how cool would it be to, like, move out to, like, Oregon or, like, Washington. Um, yeah, because you just never, you just never know. All right, box number three. All right, let's see. I guess I can show you guys. All right. Oh, maybe I should do it away from me. But I'm too excited. All right. Oh, this is so cute. Oh, shoot. I forgot to get the freaking batteries. Let me see. Oh, this is so cool. Let me see. What is this? Triple A. Triple A batteries. Give me one second. All right, so here is, look at that. It's so cool. I like that it's not an actual water globe. Um, I'm not a big fan of the water globes, to be honest. But I don't know. I'm gonna see if I can like. It's like this purple vibe, and it has like these really cool details on the bottom. Um, yeah. So this isn't like. Um, it's not a. What do you call it? It's not a globe, which I can appreciate because I'm not a really big fan of the globes. Even this, I'm just. I'm still like a little hesitant to. But it's cute. It's cute. All right. Um, I got it mostly because of the color. I do like the little purple witchy kind of vibe. Um, oops. But yeah. Um, so yeah, I picked up one of these. I'll leave the batteries in there. And then... Oh. It's the wrong way. Alright, so there's that. Alright, and then box number four. <laughs> box number four, alright. But like I said, I've really been kind of like trying to get my self a little bit more into like the witchy vibe stuff. Oh, this is weird. Alright, I don't know what that is. Um, 
but yeah, I don't know. I've been trying to get myself into like more of the witchy vibes. Um, something about it just seems so like cool and mysterious. Ooh, Ooh this feels heavy. All right. Um, also, if you guys haven't, you know, noticed, I did move around some candles back here. So I decided to bring up some that I had in my collection just to kind of bring it up, you know, to display them. All right, so here we have our other item, which is, oh, oh, that's so cool. I forgot, look, this is so cool. These two were in here. I don't know, like I said, Bath and Body Works has definitely gotten better with their packaging. Um, yeah, because I'm pretty sure they noticed that they were losing money. Because people kept on receiving items that were all broken. Alright, so let's see. What do we have here? Ooh, that's so pretty. Um, but yeah, I don't know, you guys. It's been, like, really, really hot out here. Even, like, during the night time. And I know it's hotter in other places. I know. But, like... You know. It just sucks. I can't wait for the fall. And even during the fall. I mean, what? The fall starts in, like, what? End of... I don't know. I think like either September or um, October. I forgot when it starts. And it's still pretty warm out here. Alright, so this is Wicked Vanilla Woods. Super cool. Super cute. Love a little gradient from like white to gold. Um, magical Vanilla Glowing Amber Wood and Enchanted Pink Pepper. That's a beautiful vanilla scent um i know that they have like the body care they come out of the with the body care before um so this is the first time i think that they brought it out in candle form so here's wicked vanilla woods so i'm excited to have that in my collection all right this one looks a little suspicious all right let's see Right. Oh shoot. That is wicked cool. Oh, that looks so cool. All right. You guys, this one was a purchase that was really heavy on my heart and my wallet. Um, and a lot of people on social media were talking about how like it's not worth it. Bath and Body Works is out of their mind what is Bath & Body Works smoking, all that kind of stuff. And this one here was one that I felt like I had to get. I know, I know, that's kind of trifling. But, look, oh my God, let me see. Oh, that is gorgeous. <gasps> gorgeous. It's the everlasting magic. Oh my gosh, look at that. I'm gonna try to get up. Y'all see that? I'm gonna try to take it off. That is so stinking cute. Um, Retail price for this is $70, $69.95. And that's why I think people are saying that. It smells good. I mean, Everlasting Magic was came out last year. Uh, Bejeweled Berries, uh, Phantom Petals, and Enchanted Musk. Interesting. Um, this one's a little different, I think, from the one from last year. But this is so adorable. I don't know. I love this. Um, I didn't get the house. That was a little too pricey for me. Um, I've actually never purchased one of the houses from them, but that's super cute. That the body works really be outdoing themselves every time. Every freaking time. Uh, I'm a candle lid. Hmm. I mean, I guess you can display it, but the little plastic still shows here. So I don't really know. But, you know, I don't really know about that. 
I gotta really take care of this. I did use a 20% off coupon, so, I mean, some help is better than no help, I guess. Uh, let's see how we're gonna do this. All right, boom, got it. Right, and then, all right, I have this one here. I have no idea what this is. There's no tag, no nothing. Oh, that's so cool. I know what this is. Oh, that's so cool. Bath and Body Works and their snakes. I know a couple. They're in human form, though. <laughs> Just kidding. Not kidding. But, um, anyways. Um... <laughs> This is a freaking snake or candle holder as a snake. Look at that. I think I saw on social media that the sticker here was going to look a little weird. Kind of like when you have it like that. So let's see. We're going to put the Wicked Vanilla Woods. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, the sticker does look kind of weird like when you have it like down. Because you can see it from this little opening here. I mean, that's cute. Hmm. I don't know if it's worth $30, though. This one might be going back. But it's cute for what it is. All right. All right, well, there's that. Thanks, Bath & Body Works. Um, yeah, I didn't really know what to expect with this one. There was one item that I do wish I would have got. Um... I saw it, I saw it on, um, when we were, when the, what's it called, um, during the exclusive, but I don't know, I was like, no, and I'd seen it, like, roaming around, like, in social media before it actually came out, and I thought to myself, oh, I would for sure get that, did I get it, no, so, oh, this is gonna be a little tricky, so, alright, well, there's that, Okay, we got that here. All right, oh, God, I shouldn't have ordered all this stuff. This is box number what? Five? Box number five. All right, so up next, we got, um, oh, I, I read it already. I, remember. I got this thing. Um, I also didn't get the, I think it's called like the hearse. It's like a candle holder. Like they had like a carriage last year. It's like the little car. It's like a little water globe kind of thing, but it just has water and it's like, I don't know what color it is. I don't really care for it. They look a little strange to me, but to each their own. I ain't judging. Oh, that's so cool. This is so cool! Look at this, y'all. Look at her! So cool. Oh, with all the lights, maybe it'll charge. This is so cute! Let me see. That is so cute. Super adorable. I do wish that it could like light up on its own as opposed to glow in the dark, but it is so stinking cute. That's super adorable. So I'm glad I picked this one up. I I do like this one. This is kind of cool. So here's another candle holder. This is the dancing skeleton in the graveyard with a tree. Ooh, there are some pictures floating around um, the internet, and I think that it's like a tree stump with little mushrooms for the fall. Super cute. I'm probably going to get that too. Super, super cute. Alright, so there's that. Boom. Alright, and then the last box. I don't remember, what else did I get? 
Last box. Don't be deceived. Don't. It's just like one item in here. This is oh shoot! This is the one that I was more, most excited for. Best for last. All right, let's see. All right, okay, Bath and Body Works. Okay, y'all. I'm gonna try not to break it. Oh my goodness! This is so. Thinking cute. What is this? I don't know what that is. Oh, jeez. Okay, hold on, hold on. Holds one, you all. Holds one. Holds one, DJ Booth. Holds one. Give me one sec. Ooh. I think this is a very unique thingy. Y'all, this is the gazebo. Isn't this so cute? Look at that. And then, it lights up. I don't know if you can see it, but it lights up. <laughs> it lights up. It's like a blue banshee or something. I don't know. Um, but yeah, um, it's just been super good with all the Bath and Body Works Halloween stuff. Um, this is a candle holder, but I don't know y'all, like, I don't know, something about using the candle holders for actual candle holding, I'm kind of not vibing. Something about it though. Something about it. I don't know what it is. Um, but they're like really nice pieces for like decoration. I feel like that's more fun for me. Um, these little flowers. These with the little eyeballs here. Let me grab this. Um, those little flowers. I think those came out like in one of the haunted houses. Like the Luminary. I think it was like 2021 or 2022. Something like that. I think it was 2021 when it came out. Um, but it's really, really cute. That, that luminary is super cute. And so that is pretty much the last from my Bath & Body Works Halloween members first edition. What have you all. Um, I did some damage, y'all. But I think what I'm going to be returning might be the snake. Um, and maybe the globe with the, like, with the skull. It is kind of cool, though. And I do appreciate that it is, um, what do you call it? not a water globe but it's still a globe because it's not as heavy because one of the things that i do i do find concerning is um sometimes like the water seems to be decreasing or at least that's what i've seen on social media that sometimes the water from the water globes are um decreasing but i don't really have i don't have anything really with water um but what i was gonna get that i feel like i regret getting not getting sorry is the perp the black pumpkin with like the crystals inside um like the witch the witch hand um with the purple crystals there is a pumpkin a black pumpkin that's also a candle holder that when you you know put your batteries in and you light it up um it's like like almost like a geodude i think that's what they're called of just like purple crystals and glitter inside it's so so cool no water globe or nothing no water inside literally just light and then the light um makes all the glitter super like shiny so there's that and then i think there was like a skull it was a skull i don't know if it was glass or plastic um but it had like the jaw it was also a candle holder but like the jaw part was either like silver or gold i wasn't too sure so i'm probably going to be returning yeah the snake and i'll probably be exchanging it for one of those two items or maybe both who knows who knows i don't know 
And then I did see also that they have a wallflower that's like um, a pumpkin, but it has like purple, like a purple inside situation. So yeah, I don't know. I think I might get that too, because it's pretty cool. But I just wish it was black. I wish they could like match, but whatever. Because um, I think the orange pumpkin also has like the, yeah, like the purple gemstones inside and stuff. So I think that I might get something like that. Um, but before I let you guys go, there was one item I did see at Home Goods that if it reminds you of anything, let me know. Um, I do have it off here to the side and it is so cool. It's, it's actually super, super cute. And I know I say a lot of things are super, super cute, but this one I really mean it. Um, let me see. Look at this. Look at this! This is so stinking cute. And this, it doesn't have like, it's not a candle holder, um, but it looks like this. Again, I did find this at Home Goods. Um, and I paid $27. I paid $27 because up here, I don't know if you can see it, up here, I am missing like a little, like a little piece. Um, and the coolest part is this. Hold on, let me see. <laughs> this is so cool. It does light up, but because of all the lights that I have in here. <laughs> um. I guess technically you could put like a candle up here, but it has to be like a little one, like, like a little mini one, because it sure wouldn't fit like... Well, I mean, I guess. It would just be looking a little, a little wonky. But, I don't know. It might look a little wonky. I guess you could, but it definitely wouldn't like light it up or anything. Just I guess for decor purposes. But I think that this, this haunted house reminds me of um, the, the haunted house luminary that they had, I want to say it was like last year. It was like the castle one. Um, and it looks just like this. I mean, it's not like a, an exact, you know, replica, um, but it re resembles it a lot. And I got this for like 30 bucks. So if you're at Home Goods and you're interested, um, it does light up and it makes sound. Um, pick it up. It's super, super cool. This is really, really cool. And I'm thinking of like adding like maybe some like moss or something or like moss down here. I feel like that'd be really, really cool to do something like that. But yeah. Um, that is actually it for my Halloween haul. Um, I I know that they have like a sale for candles right now. I do have a coupon, so I don't know if I should purchase them. I know that they have like the like the Stranger Things collection. To be honest with y'all, I never watched. I watched actually no, I just watched Stranger Things like the first season, and then I stopped after that. I got too lazy to watch anything else after. Um, but nothing really appealed to me. The pineapple pizza was kind of a bit of a stretch for me. I do love pineapple on pizza, but as a candle, I don't know. Um, but yeah, um, I don't know. I might get it. If they're available, I might get it. If not, like it is what it is. Um, I usually try to get the like limited edition candles, but I'll be okay if I don't. So I guess we'll leave it at that. Um, so yeah, I do have a couple other videos coming soon. Um, yeah, and then, um, if you guys haven't checked out the Candle Nurse, her, um, her website is now live, and she has a whole bunch of scents on there that she blended, that she made on her own, and I couldn't be more proud of all the different scents that she's created. She did send me some samples, and all of them have been amazing. Um, I did go through all of them, I think. Actually, no, I'm lying. I think I have Melting uh, Forbidden Cherry, I think it was called. Yeah, I think it was Forbidden Cherry. Um, I think I might have that one, but that's my last one. But 
I did order from her. Um, so be on the lookout for that. Um, I've never been into wax melts really just because I never really had any um, Like I never really thought of it to be honest and it wasn't until watching her videos that I was like, oh shoot Maybe I can go into that realm. So um, Her sent me those um, those samples has them pretty good um, and if you guys haven't checked out her her channel and seen um, she's been doing like a series of like the scents that she's been blending um, and kind of like why she made them and kind of like what inspired her to make them. So you guys check them out. Um, the way she describes them definitely gives you a good idea as to what they smell like. And so I went based off of her, um, her description, the scent notes. Um, and so stay tuned for that because um, I want to do an unboxing for that. Um, so yeah. Just be on the lookout for that. Um, but yeah, that is actually all for me today. Thank you guys so much for tuning in and watching. Thank you guys for supporting and liking, commenting. And again, I'm sorry that it took this long for me to film. I'm going to try to be a little more consistent even in this heat. Um, but yeah, if you guys are interested on um, interested in following me on Instagram, I will leave it down below at the Wit Collective. Um, over there at the Instagram, <laughs> if you will. Um, but yeah, that is all for me today. Thank you guys so much and I'll see you guys next time. Bye